All right, so I guess we're starting another one here. We're gonna take off some of the windings on this transformer, reuse the core, and uh, make a 120 to like a three volt or a four volt transformer and see if we can melt some shit, photonic induction style. Donkey's breath. Starts flipping out. Oh, there's a fire. All right, so I found this good old boy at the scrappers recycling place where we brought an old engine block and I said, what do you want for it? And he's like, yeah, I just have it, you brought us some steel. So she's aluminum wound. It appears that uh, all the low voltage coils on the inside are, are all still intact. However, the, this primary is disabled on the back. It's also one of the taps is broken and uh, one of the pot spots where the tap's broken so the coil's pretty much done. Anyways, it's a 600 volt delta on the primary, Y on the secondary, 600 volt two-way transformer. I already took this piece off. Anyways, we're gonna start ripping her apart and uh, all right, so now that we're on the back side, we can see how the one high voltage winding here is disabled with the zip uh, grinder, the zip cut. And a lot of these cars will be from like being in the salvage yard and being kicked around in some bins. But anyway, I've also taken off the uh, out of the top two pieces of uh, angle iron that was clamping this together, as you take it apart, you could hear it like, um, how would I say this, come apart a little bit. But anyways, I'm going to try a little tappy tappy and see if we can knock the top of this core off of here. I'd like to take this time to put a little disclaimer here. We're playing with electricity. Don't try this at home. This is not an exact science. We're just basically using the basic principles of transformers. We are not going anywhere near perfect here. We're just trying to have some fun while also being safe. So if you have any questions or concerns, just let me know in the comments. But other than that, let's get on with her. All right, so so far we got one set of windings off. We got the primaries. And uh, yeah, that's what they look like. I didn't think there's any reasonable way to get it off without cutting it. There probably is a way that I don't know. Maybe there isn't, but anyways, I just cut them off. And I did the same with the secondaries. They, uh, they came in two portions because this one fits inside the other one and there's an air gap, probably for cooling for when the transformer would have been in operation. So these windings here should still be completely intact, but I have no reason to have all these over here. So uh, I'm just gonna take all of them off except the one 120 and uh, see if we can use it. Slightly further we are. Uh, trimmed up the base, we're done with that. Got it bolted back in so it stands nicely. And we're just about to cut the top part of the core so we're, it's gonna fit in and then we're gonna clamp it. And then I guess, uh, we're done, except uh, we're gonna do a little test here. See what we get uh, as long, also with, uh, then we're gonna wrap this core up with some welding cable and uh, see what we can do here. All right, so here we go. I've got her all hooked up here. Two sides, we're gonna put ply 120 on the 120 volt coil on the inside. And everyone remembers that we should then end up with 600 volt three, or excuse me, 600 volt single phase on the outside from this lead coming from the inside of the outside, or what used to be the primary, but now technically would be the secondary if we were using it as a load, and any of these different taps on it, so like, whatever their ratings are. I don't have any documentation on this transformer when I started. All I knew is it was uh, Delta 600, Y208, and uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna plug her in right here and see what uh, happens. All right, we're gonna see how many amps this guy's pulls without a load or anything. Thirteen amps I was pulling. So that's a bit high. Yeah, that's 554 volts on the meter. So yeah, the 600 volts is real. You know, frankly, I don't really like that. So. Uh, because I got no reason to like even have that present on something like this because the idea is, I don't know if I really explained this that well, but the idea was to go from 120 to like 
four volts or whatever on the other side. So I'm actually just gonna, I, yeah, I don't like the presence of 600 and come to think of it, it was a Delta Y, so it's actually 600, it's not 347. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna rip this high voltage off and uh, just, you know, take this whole thing down like uh, one notch. All right, so uh, uh, of course I haven't pulled that off yet because I'm, you know, in an experimental mood. Um, so we got, what's that? One, two, three wraps around this side, or three uh, wine, <laughs> three wines on the low voltage side, and I, earlier I counted 60, so that's a 20 to one ratio on 120 volts. So we should see about five volts, if, if my math is right. 5.4 volts, beauty. Yeah, but I'm getting rid of this 600 volt coil right now. All right, so in this configuration, we should have one more wrap around. So that should give us like, I don't know, I'm not even not thinking about math right now. What is that? Four to 60. Yeah, what, seven point something volts. Alright, so I've cleaned up a bit. We're back in the 7.4 configuration. 7.4 volts on the secondary. And we're gonna blow up a shady screwdriver. So what screwdriver should we blow up, guys? We gotta find like the most Chinese, cheap ass screwdriver we got. Alright, this one looks pretty garby. We've got too much of good heart to wreck any good tools. And this is the shittiest thing, so. Fucked. How about a hacksaw blade? Before we do any big remodeling, hacksaw blade. Contact. Oh, now we really lit a fire. Shit. Alright, so we've upsized, she's now on a 60 amp circuit, still 120. Is this illegal? Technically, yes. Oh, look at that. Dielectric grease from the inside of that connection just getting melted out of there. Okay, well we're at that point again of this project where we kind of are at a brick wall. We were playing a little bit off camera here, burning some stuff up last night. But the limitation is our secondary here, and it's only one odd welding cable, and we're melting the absolute crap out of it. So we're gonna give her one more melt for you guys on camera to show you like just what I mean. Like you can see it, it's just deteriorating. But we're gonna give her one more, and then I'll probably end up putting like parallel 4 aught on it or something like that with three or four wraps into some termination gear for later. While clamping it, we'll clamp this on camera here, but we're gonna make a big old stink and smoke this out at the end of the video here. Oh dang, dang, I wonder if that's doing anything to the final footage. If I get too close to this conductor with the camera, my screen starts flipping out. Oh, there's a fire. Well, I guess we know it kind of lights on fire now. Oh, 
Well, she's an absolute beauty. Can't wait to revisit this. I might get a, a donut CT and some uh, much larger cable for the secondary and probably do the primary in something more than 14 gauge. Bodied off another plug over there. But to, for holding like 70 amps, it's, it's held up really, really well compared to this, this shit. <laughs> but anyways, uh, don't try this at home and I will uh, catch you guys in the next one. So have a good day.